All right, let's fire up some theme music. Lucky Eights, news at noon. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Lucky Eights News at Noon. I am the aforementioned Lucky Eights. Wearing my news tie. Nobody even knows that I'm here. I didn't even announce it over at the other place. The Zucker place. Uh, I wonder if they will... Uh, they should start calling Meta the Zucker place. That's a better name for that place. For that company. For that ever-growing company. Uh, no, Danny, this is not Fox News. My one and only viewer right now is my friend Dan. Uh, yeah, it's flaggy. Here's the deal. Okay, yeah, all right. If you're noticing I have a flag in my background, friends always question me. Are like, they're like, what's the deal? Are you right wing now? When did the American flag become a right wing thing? It's not. Spoiler alert, it's for everyone. So fuck them. Everybody should start using it. Don't hide from our flag because a pe the people on the other side that you don't like have used it for a while too. Take it back. Take it back the flag. Thank you. Thank you. No, no. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Thank you. It's too much. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Stop. Anyway, it's, it, you know, I think it's a pretty slow news morning thus far. I, of course, scrambling at the last second to get going because uh, I was like, oh, I should try some new stuff. And then didn't really work because I don't know how to use my equipment. I, I skim. I skim for the basics. Uh, and then I usually just try to figure it out or just stop, which is like how it works with me in computers. I really only know the basics. I, you know, I've been in the Apple world for decades, it seems. Have I ever gone to one of those uh, classes that they offer for free? No. I didn't even watch it online. I don't know how to do shit on my computer. I'm an old goat that likes to do things the old way. If this contraption in front of me was a printed newspaper, I would not be happier. I do like reading the news online. Because you can read many newses online and get many points of views, which is what everybody should be doing. Don't just read one thing. Don't just watch one thing. Read and watch all of them and then sift around in there and maybe, maybe you'll find something that's for not bought by a, a, a pharmaceutical company commercial. Everything's bought and paid for in this country. You should know it. Thank you. Thank you. Stop. It's too much. Stop. Come on now. You're being silly. I got too many computer screens in front of me. I'll tell you that much right now. I'm working several things in front of me. And uh, remember that part where I said I'm an old goat? I'm working three devices over here like I work for NASA. Or I work in Nassau, the Bahamas at a busy switchboard, I guess. We still have switchboards in this country. Is there still some lady sitting at a switchboard somewhere? And if you have to call from a phone information, can you still call information on a phone? Uh, we used to have to do that shit all the time back in the olden days pre-computers let's not wax nostalgic yates let's get on with the news 
Starting our news reading this morning at Reuters, which we ignored all day yesterday. The big headline in the biggest font and boldest. I guess you can really only get so bold on a computer. It's like that that one black. Russians tighten noose on Ukraine's Bakhmut. Putin warns of Western espionage. Oh, the War in Ukraine is over a year old now, uh, and and Putin is just throwing everything he can. It's a, what an odd man he is. What a what a weird little man, and he's little. That's what probably what it all stems from. He's a tiny little fucker with tiny little hands, with a tiny little bald head, but he's in charge of a very large swath of land. Already, Russia is gigantic. What the fuck does he need more land for? They've got plenty that they're not even using. The steppes, the Russian steppes, there's, a, there's two P's and an E in there. I don't even know what the hell they mean. They got them. Apparently, you can see, uh, what's her name? Uh, what was her name that ran for vice president, the dipshit? Sarah Palin, was that her name? Oh boy. <laughs> Fucking John McCain. I really liked John McCain, too. And then, uh, what did he pick that dipshit for? God damn. Uh, <laughs> my friends, yeah, boy. Uh, Russian forces on Tuesday pressed forward their weeks long drive to encircle and capture the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut, where the commander of Ukraine's ground forces described the situation as extremely tense. I mean, uh, you're in war, I feel like every situation going. To the crapper is an extremely tense situation. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, Jesus Christ. It's, you know, and it's all bulked up on some dumb, they're Nazis in there and we got to get them. And, oh, they're crooked in there. Every country's crooked. You can't use that as an excuse to invade another one. Every, every big government is on the take. They're all in cahoots. Just, you know, ignore it. And, you know, these poor bastards. I mean, poor Ukraine. They have to defend their goddamn homeland. People are getting murdered. All their houses getting exploded. All for one little tiny man and his need for more. That's the problem with all people. When you have enough, it's enough. Stop wanting more. More just gets you into trouble. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that was worth it. That, that was worth it. That was worth That was bad. I've got preachy so soon again. Preachy Yates. That's what my name should be. Lucky schmucky. Your name's preachy now. Okay, here we go. A uh, Tesla plant gets green light in northern Mexico. That's fine. Uh, I mean, you know, I like, hey, I, I would love those jobs to be on American shores. Uh, but Elon Musk going to do what Elon Musk is going to do. And it's, a, I'm sure, <sighs> the man spent way too much money for Twitter which is not making any sort of money back. And so this is obviously a him. I'm not even gonna read the story. Here's my take on that headline. 
Lucky Eight's news at noon is really just the headlines and then me ranting. How do you like them apples? Uh, it, 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 my take on it right away is uh, he's got to cut costs because he's got to, uh, all of his boards hate him. And if he's going to save his job, what is his job? What does he do? What does that good guy do a uh, mouth off on a platform he paid too much money for? What a, uh, there's another odd man. These odd men that are in charge of all these giant things are just like, okay, enough oddballs. I mean, I'm an oddball. I'm not in charge of shit. Which is good news for everyone. Believe you me. Uh, oh, here's another big, bold headline. Biden to require chips companies winning subsidies to share excess profits. I'm not even going to, I don't care. I already, I don't know what any of those words strung together even begins to mean. Uh, oh, no. Oh, boy. Here's one. Andrew Tate. Here's a, here's a hot button issue. This dipshit. Andrew Tate seeks to recruit right-wing politicians to his cause. Wiretaps show. Uh, you know, uh, Andrew Tate has sought to fight rape and trafficking allegations while in police custody, directing associates to recruit two right-wing lawmakers to his cause. According to wiretaps of his phone calls submitted to a court by Romanian prosecutors. Ah, uh, your first mistake is going to Romania to... to do your dirty work. You're going you're gonna to go to the land of vampires. You better expect some wiretaps, Jack. Uh, I don't know who these Romanian politicians are. There's two of them, a man named George and a woman named Diana. I'm not going to try to even pronounce their Romanian last names for fear of butchering, butchering them and Waking up with two holes in my neck and a uh, need to uh, purchase some property for my Romanian masters while I eat bugs. That's a little Renfield joke for you people. Wait, where is it? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, come on, man. Give me them. Give me them crickets. They look delicious. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. I'm going to eat them up for my master. Uh, okay. So, you know, dipshit who gets, who's, you know, Mr. Mr. Man. I think I really wanted to be the spokesperson for men. That fucking guy. Look at him. His yeah, plugs on top. They all got plugs on top. That's when you know they're, you're in trouble. Look, I, everybody... I, Here's the deal. People, we, uh, we're weirdo apes, and, and some people have hair, and some people don't have hair. Personally, I can't grow a full beard. If you're looking at this video, I, what, my little mustache and goatee is the only facial hair I can grow into some sort of anything which is why you never see me with groovy sideburns or a full beard, because I can't grow one. It's just all patchy and gross on the sides of my face. I can't do it. I also don't have a lot of hair under my arms, weirdly enough. Light little wispy amount of hair. Nothing. It's nothing. I've got weird, no, no I shouldn't be. Although, let me tell you, there's some Lucky Eights news. Here's a do 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 I do have some of those sound effects. I have not I have not loaded them into here yet. Anyway, I, I, I discovered a, uh, I have about, <clears throat> all told, I, I probably got about 25 chest hairs. They're my, pretty sleek. Anyway, I still have all this good hair up top, though. That's the cool thing. I say 
while I make this point. I shouldn't have made that point while I also make this point, which is I'm not angry about the fact that I can't grow a beard. Am I disappointed? Yeah, but guess what? Life is disappointing. So I can't grow, uh, I can't grow hair on my face. And some guys, uh, they lose the hair on top of their head early, earlier than they want at all. And they think that somehow demasculates them. Demasculates, demasculates, turns them into less of a man, let's say. A manly man, if they have a bald pate for some reason. Now, they could just shave their heads and look like a total badass. Embrace it, lean into that shit. Also, Master the goofy toupee. Not, don't try to fool people. It's when you try to fool people with the toops and the dye. I'm going to go down this road too since we're here and I'm on a Putin rant and an Andrew Tate rant with balding fellows. There are, you have options. Some might say you have options that are much more fun then you, like I can go and get crazy hairstyles and have it colored and all that kind of whatnot, but that's expensive and it, it will kind of hurt. And you know, if you're getting like dye jobs and stuff, you got to strip color and that's like, that hurts. But if you just don't have hair and you shave your head, then you can really start just wearing fun, crazy wigs. Why not shake up your life a little bit and wear some fun stuff? Find cool looks that go with that look. Instead of trafficking women or invading countries or just being angry in general for crying out loud. It's just hair. Who gives a shit? You can buy more, get, but you know, don't get plugs. We can, it's just silly. I would much rather Elon Musk be doing whatever he's doing in a fun wig. Because if he was wearing a fun wig, we'd all kind of give him more of a break. Like, I don't know what he's doing over there, but you know, at least he's looking like he's having fun doing it. But you know, he has to have more hair now than he did in college, which is just suspect. It's like it's he lives on the internet. He knows that exists. All right, let's jump to another news site. I'm barely giving news in this thing. How long have I been rambling? Oh, only 18 minutes. Where we go? Let's go to the AP wire. We'll see uh, conservative justices question student loan forgiveness plan. Yes, our, our conservative justices on what we call a Supreme Court, which is in and of itself just preposterous. Supreme Court full of kooks. What, and what is this lifetime appointment jive? Come on. What? Nobody gets a lifetime appointment for anything. Except, I guess, the Pope. But they're not Popes. Guess what? And the Pope can step down anytime he wants. And plus, you know, they hire old guys for that job. And so they, you know, are supposed to cycle out pretty quickly. I was raised Catholic. What do you want from me? <laughs> Got that right, Jack. You want some guilt thrown at you. Dive into some Catholicism where you find out it's all your fault. Uh, original sin. Thanks. Born a person. I, but, you know, the older you get, you go, like, I guess that makes sense. People are dicks. Anyway, what are we talking about? Oh, student loan in the Supreme Court. It's talking about Biden's plan to wipe away or reduce student loans held by millions of Americans. I don't know enough about uh, this situation to really have much in a, 
of an opinion on it. Uh, I really don't have any skin in this game. I, I do have a four-year college degree. I'm the only one in my family that has one, but I did not have to take out loans to get them because back in the 1980s, way last century when I was a collegiate fellow, uh, you know, I went to a local college, a local university in the city of Detroit, Wayne State University. Go Warriors! But when I was there, they were called the Tartars. <laughs> great teaching school. Excellent. Uh, they have a really great, uh, <laughs> I think they have a body farm there. And uh, uh, if you want to learn uh, post-mortem medicine. Wayne State's got you covered. Great med school, I think, too. Anyway, used to be a good, uh, also theater degrees were great back in the day. There's not even really a theater department. I get, I digress. School was cheap. And I went to school, it was like $2,500 a year, which, you know, was expensive for my family to have to come up with, but it, it wasn't impossible. And we didn't need loans in order to do it. And, uh, you know, I was raised uh, by two parents that have, had grown up in the Depression, uh, and they were both raised quite poor. And so uh, I learned right away the value of uh, stretching it out, making things last. The, uh, things don't grow on trees. You got to bust your humps for it. And so I was, I just was naturally, uh, I don't know if it's natural, uh, I was trained to be uh, a bit uh, fiscally conservative. Some people called me cheap. I would say ha to them because I live a debt-free life. And I was debt-free before I was on a TV show. So ha, take it. Anyway. Uh, student loan forgiveness. I I don't know enough about uh, the plan to give it up. Uh, I yeah, off the top of my head, I if I were a student that owed some hundred and ten thousand dollars in debt, I would make a number three in my pants if the president said I didn't have to pay that anymore. That would be great. That all my payments were done now. Uh, I can see it also being an excellent way to, uh, you know, there's all this talk of a recession here in the United States of America and not and worldwide. And, uh, you know, there's worldwide inflation going on. That's not just here in this country. And uh, it, it seems a good way to just sort of like give a lot of people a lot of help with some cushion in their lives. And when you got happy, healthy Americans, I think you're gonna have uh, a happy, healthy country. So, hey. And you know, man, <clears throat> people all squawking and complaining about it. Uh, they really, you know, uh, universities are way too expensive. Uh, and th th that system of, of learning, I think, is a bit uh, outdated. The communal effort of college, going to a giant place when you're that age, 18 through 21 or whatever, if you're going to undergrad. Uh, excellent time to mingle among people of... Uh, various backgrounds and viewpoints and uh, cultures. And you learn a lot about people by going to universities. At least you did back then, I don't know. They say that universities are in trouble these days too because of some sort of ideology creeping in and every all the professors are scared to talk and you can't just talk anymore because Got to be a safe space, and I see that a lot. And everything, everybody should calm the fuck down, and go outside, and talk to each other. You know. Thank you.
Calm the fuck down, everybody. Everything's fine if you just shut up. <laughs> anyway, where are we? Oh, Tom Sizemore. R.I.P. That guy, uh, he had a troubled life. Uh, Detroit's own uh, actor, Tom Sizemore. Uh, movie tough guys in many, many films. Uh, I believe he was in the Private Ryan movie. Yep, he was in Heat, Black Hawk Down. Uh, he was also, uh, he, 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 he was convicted of domestic violence against his ex-girlfriend, Hollywood Madam Heidi Fleiss. Uh, and he had a life, you know, a lot, a lot of drug troubles with this guy. Uh, you know, but great actor, great tough guy actor. Uh, and a lot of times great actors are really troubled people. That's why they're such good actors. So, uh, Godspeed to you, Sizemore. Uh, if they pull the plug on you, uh, uh, good work. Uh, you could have done without the violence part. Uh, but, you know, you, your, your professional work was commendable. I'm sorry to anybody that was hurt by Tom Sizemore in their life. Don't cancel me. All right. Uh... What do we got? Anything? The killer redesigned. Oh, you know, you're, oh no, that's. Hey, I'm not gonna go. I'm not even gonna click on it. I was I was tricked by a sponsored. I was tricked by an ad. I was gonna go. Hey man, they've redesigned the Chevy Blazer. I oh wait a minute, that's an ad, which makes me think. Let's go to the BBC. Zelensky says situation on the front line is worsening. Well, we already went down that road. Everybody should start sending Putin some wigs. Uh, DeSantis won't say he's running. This is from the BBC. DeSantis won't say he's running. What's he waiting for? A new book is another sign, but the Florida governor has not made another 2024 presidential bid. But he kind of is. Wow. Great reporting, BBC. Great, great. I don't know. What do you call that first line after the headline? The conservative firebrand, who public opinion surveys suggest is the most popular Republican choice, not named Donald Trump. <laughs> so pithy, those Brits. Has not officially announced his candidacy but he's taking all the steps one would expect of a politician on the verge of a presidential plunge. All right. We don't need it. Oh, what are they reporting on over here at the BBC? No, I'm, um, this is the news where I report on the news. I don't report the news, I report on the news. Inside the UK's Mormon missionary boot camp, if you've ever wanted a deep dive into the British Mormon life, sometimes, here's a big quote within the, the context of the article. Sometimes you feel like an influencer. People, an influencer should not be a job. People should not be paid to influence other people i say as i do a, a new show where i'm trying to influence you to not like things <laughs> like i don't like things you can do whatever you want i'm just spouting my opinions news and opinions lucky eights news at noon it's lucky All right. um so the bbc went on a deep dive to follow a bunch of uh uh Mormon, you know, I, it, it is kind of bizarre that uh, that can't be true. They must have come here. No, there is a England's missionary training center. Weird that the Mormons have infiltrated other countries. I did not know that that had happened. Religion's really making a, a, a last ditch effort, isn't it? But I also hear that people are sort of turning back to church. There's a lot of uh, weird mall, like strip mall churches here in Atlanta. Little weird places that sort of like <clears throat> young people are going to on like Wednesdays and Thursday nights and stuff. I don't know. P 
People need uh, fellowship, especially after the pandemic. Everybody should be going out and mingling. Stop being afraid of each other. Go out and mingle. God damn it. All right. Uh, anything else on the BBC? No, it's all just kind of more news from yesterday. So uh, let's call this one a half an hour show. That's good enough. Good times at the Lucky Eights News at Noon show this afternoon. I think I've spouted enough news and opinion. I barely even gave the news. I should, here's what I need to start doing on this ever developing brand new show is I need to hit, remember to hit record <laughs> over on my soundboard so that I could uh, save this as a podcast. I have not been doing that. But I also need to really sort of read the news in the morning before I do this show so that I am better informed when I deliver the news to you. Because right now I'm doing what I shouldn't be doing, which is just reading headlines and forming opinions. Although I have read stories, the stories before. And today was not a heavy new news day. Anyway, I'll shut the F up about the news now. Uh, there will be many short, more shows to come here on the Lucky Eights channel on YouTube's. Yes, there will be puppet stuff. That's a news. Yes, there will be puppet stuff. Uh, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm, I'm building a new little puppet now, which I think is pretty hilarious. So, uh, what else? Um, Night Church, yeah, you bet, Night Church. Reverend Lucky Yates will will do some shows here on the YouTubes. Why not? I do, will we pick the Church of the Holy Dodo back up? Maybe it's as good a myth as any. If you don't know about the Church of the Holy Dodo, then sister, you got some learning to do. Praise Gladys. She's going to save us all. <laughs> With the immortal message, <clears throat> everybody, love one another, and stop being a bunch of assholes. It's lucky. It's lucky. News at noon. See you tomorrow, maybe? I don't know. Whenever I feel like it.